Hi, and welcome to Batter Drum Co. Today, we're going to be looking at five of the essential sounds that you need to get out of your congas. You need to learn them on your right hand as well as your left hand. So, let's get into it. Enjoy! Okay, so let's get into it. We're going to look at five of the essential sounds. First sound we're going to look at is going to use the whole of your hand. This is often called the palm, or it's often combined with another sound that's called the heel-toe technique. Okay, so the palm, when you play it, you want to make sure that you're sitting behind your drum. When you bring your hand down onto your drum, you're at the right height so that your arm is parallel to the drum. When you bring it down to play this palm note, you want to have a relaxed hand. We're going to play the full hand, okay? Relax like a dead weight, so it lands like a dull thud on your drum, okay? To get the best sound of your drum, if you're playing on the kinto, you'll just tilt it slightly away from you, all right? Once you're in that comfortable position, then you want to just land with a dead weight with that hand towards the center of the drum, slightly to one side, okay? A dead weight. So it's not really a hit of the drum, it's where you're landing on the drum. One more time. Okay, so that's the palm note. Okay, so the second technique, second sound is a toe technique or a tip technique. When you play this, you want to have this part of your wrist touching the rim of the drum. And you're going to lift up nice and stiff and come back down quite firmly and that gives you this tip or toe technique. Now that gets put together very often with the heel and toe. So here's the tip again. There you go. And we're going to put it together with the heel or the palm note. All right. When it's together, it's called the heel toe technique. Okay. Very importantly, when you come up, you're not muting the drum in any way. So it's this part of the wrist, remember, on the edge of the drum. So one more time, heel toe. Okay, good. The third sound that you want to get out of the drum, we're gonna look at an open tone. Now the open tone, you're gonna play with as much of your hand on the drum as possible, but not really the thumb. So it's down to about two thirds or three quarters of the way down your hand, and that's gonna make contact with the edge this, the, the rim of the drum, and then when we play it, you're going to bounce off the drum like a trampoline. If you try and bounce off the drum and try and make this drum sing as much as you possibly can, that's what we're after, a big open singing tone. Here we go. And again. Your hands nice and relaxed, and then you can try it on any of your drums, of course. If you try it over here on the next drum do down, that's a lower drum, so we would often call this the conga or sometimes the tres dos. Nice and relaxed bounce off the drum, making it sing. Okay, let's all the, hear all those beautiful tones out of the drum. Okay, so the fourth sound you want to look at is called the closed slap. Probably the most difficult out of all these five that we're looking at today. What you're going to try and do is get a relaxed hand. And when you play the closed slap, you want that relaxed hand to keep this nice relaxed arch. Very important. And when you actually play it, you're going to play it just like the open tone. So three quarters of the way down your hand is going to make contact with the rim of the drum. Now in slow motion, you're going to come down with that relaxed arch, make contact with three quarters of the way down on your hand, and then just a fraction of a second afterwards, you'll follow through with the fingertips and still keeping that arch still keeping that arch inside there. It's really good for the tone of the sound. And then you stop your hand on the drum and that's what keeps it that closed, muted, but loud, punchy sound. Something like this. And again. One more time. There we go. So a closed slap. The fifth sound we're going to look at today is the bass tone. Now the bass tone tend to play this with the lower part of your hand, somewhere towards the edge of the drum. 
and you're trying to get a low sound. And this is particularly important that when you've got your drum between your knees, that you're playing that slightly so the drum is tilted away from you. And when you play it, that'll give it a little bit more, the air will be able to come out of the bottom, give it a little bit more of an open sound, and we want a nice bass tone. There we go. A nice thud, okay? So they're the five sounds that you wanna try and create out of your congas. Have a good one.